Hey, good morning, guys, and welcome back to the vlog. Today, we want to take you to a place to eat that a lot of people eat at, actually. It is in Care4. Care4 is kind of like Walmart in Indonesia, but they have like a food court area inside Care4, and that's where we are right now. We want to eat here and show you what they got. So right now, Jules is ordering up some food, and uh, I'm going to walk around and show you everything they got. Then we'll sit down and eat together, all right? All right, so here we've got all of these good things vegetables and then we've got chicken and eggs and more chicken right here we've got different types of fried rice and this guy's is uh, noodles that they cook up for you like a soup more chicken and they've got pasta here as well more soup this is soup the broth's right here and then we've got this crazy looking pizza look at that thing it has uh peas and corn on it and green beans that's kind of weird. Some uh, different types of fried bread. So we've also got sweet potatoes, more noodles, vegetables, bakso, fruit salad, more things that can be fried, more fried stuff. Ooh, this is for us. Fried tempeh. This right here is tempeh that's gonna be fried. Fried tofu and uh, fried like spring rolls. We got the food at the table now. Let's see what we got. Well guys, I have got what's called chop chai here. It's kind of mixed vegetables in a broth. That looks pretty good. And then over here, we've got fried tempeh and fried tofu. This is supposed to be crazy hot. <laughs> Padas gila. I kind of doubt it, but we'll see. I also got chap chai, mixed vegetables. And then I got one of those, um, what are they? Tofu balls. <laughs> tofu as well, but mine is just regular spicy, not crazy spicy. I got, I am gefrak. It's really good. It's pretty spicy too. I'm Gefrek is fried chicken, which is then smashed up with like peppers and stuff. This will use sambal. Really good. See, it's like you can see there's a lot of peppers in here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think she's feeling a little self conscious there. I got a. Uh, Malado egg, I guess you would call it. And then um, fried potato and sambal. Well, there's peppers and uh, potatoes, I'm not sure. Onions, it looks like. Looks really good. Oh, this is a balado egg and it's hard boiled, deep fried, and sambal. It's not too, too spicy, but it's a little spicy. Let's go ahead and try the crazy hot stuffed tofu. Let me open it up and show you what's inside here first. Wow, wow, it's cool. So it is a tofu, like a tofu square, and then um, they slice it and they stuff it with vegetables. And this one looks like they also stuffed it with hot peppers. Let's see if it's crazy hot. Nope, crazy spicy. Was yours spicy? I am trying to get. <laughs> Is yours spicy at all? Mm. On a scale of one to ten for spiciness, for me, I'd give it a one point five. Maybe you should try mine. I Crazy can, hot. One point five. I can smell the peppers in this one. It's yeah. It's really good though. Don't get me wrong. It, it tastes super good, but spicy. It's not crazy spicy. Crazy spicy with a pepper. Mm. Just because you're crazy. <laughs> Bumped it up to a level two. Next up here is Sess fried potatoes. It looks like it has snow peas in it with peppers and maybe mushrooms. Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Did you know you're eating mushrooms? Mmm. <laughs> mm mm. We need some kind of meat. I don't know, it's good though. It's, good. it's not spicy either though. This is a fried thin slice of tempeh, battered and fried. And we'll go ahead and we'll try a bite with this big pepper right here. Mm. That's really good too. Whole pepper? They give okay. you a sauce too. I don't like that sauce. If you come to Indonesia, you should try the fried tempeh because it's delicious. And Jules said they got the sauce. I said I didn't like it. That was mean. 
shouldn't be mean like that. You're so mean. I know it. So let's try it. All right. Got to use the right hand. When you're in Indonesia as well, remember to eat with your right hand because sometimes you'll be criticized if you eat with your left hand. They don't like you to do that because there's particular reasons that we might address in a video where we're not eating. But today we're eating, so we won't talk about that. This is sweet soy sauce. I don't really like it that much, but you might really like it. You should try it. I like the tofu. Yeah. These are good. It was just spicy enough. I like this with this. <laughs> the lunch there was, was good. It was really good. The chopped chai was um, a little bit bland, I think. But besides that, everything was pretty good. And, uh, and not too expensive, I don't think. Let's ask Jules how much that was. I already threw the receipt away, but if I remember right, it was around 83,000. For all of this? Yeah. Not including the waters. Seth purchased those separately. How much were the waters? 10. 10,000. For all four? One thing they've got here is a bunch of little souvenirs you can check out. Right, these guys are made out of coconuts. Wow, he's cool. It's like a rhino, a coconut rhino. And a coconut turtle. I'm thinking, I like this guy. He's a coconut pig. Oh, that's cute. Isn't that cool? It's way cool. But it's for saving money in, so you can put your coins in there, and then uh, there's a rubber plug in the bottom. Oh, I like that. That's cute. It's cool, huh? Yeah, I like when you find coins in the street. Too. Yeah, the monkey. This is a game right here you play. It's really fun. What's this game called, sir? Um, I think in Japanese it's called Dakon. I don't know what it's called in, in Indonesian, though. Dakon. Dakon. Yeah, in, in English or whatever language it's called Mancala, maybe? Cool. So it's like you put them in here and then you place them and, and then you collect them at the ends and then whoever has the most at the end wins. Of course it would work better if it was set up right. But it sounds really cool when professionals play it. We played it once with um, a group at Alam Bahasa. We were studying Indonesian. And like we all played it together and made a song. It was really cool. We actually made a video about us playing the Anklun. It's a moto vlog. And you could look for it in our old videos. It's in there somewhere. I think it even has Anklun in the title. It would be much easier if you linked it up there for us. You think it would be easier if I just linked it up there? Yeah. Hmm. But then you'd have to search for it yourself. <laughs> yeah, then I'd have to do all the work. Maybe they should do the work. You do the work for your entertainment. <laughs> if I remember, guys, I'll link it up here. If not, it's one of my old videos. You can find it for sure. Uh, now we're in the upstairs area. A lot of electronics, washing machines, dryers, cosmetics, household stuff. I like soap and shampoo and stuff like that. It's fun. Really? Yeah. What do you like about soap and shampoo and stuff like that? <laughs> I just like it. Because it's girly and you're a girl? I guess so. <laughs> Tomato face mask. Well, that's that's what you guys should do. Face masks again. Hey, that'd be I wanted to come back in this area, guys, and look at the lights because um, I don't want to think of a better lighting setup for in the house for our videos. And they've got these right here. These are LED tubes. These are T8 tubes. They've got T5 tubes. All right, guys, so this is kind of what I'm looking at. Like, see how long this is? Can you see the whole thing? But my idea is, see, you just plug them in because it's not a uh, it's not a fluorescent bulb. This are all LEDs in here. And then if you put it in a stand down here, then you could set it on a table over here like this, and you could put another one right here, and that would be a lot of light for filming videos with. They're 234,000 for one light. What? All right, I'm not going to do that idea. I changed my mind. Yeah, so we're not going to do that light idea. Just stick with what we got. It works and it's far less expensive. Look who we've got checking out the masks now. This one looks really funny. It's tomato. This is the lemon face mask. You know what the lemon face mask is for, sir? <laughs> so you'll have a permanent sour face. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> if you want to have white skin, use this. I think this is what Michael Jackson used. Yeah, does it have real snail in it? bee venom like what is it even like why is it even called bee venom it actually says bee venom in the ingredients really bee venom it's awesome it's so cool this one's got a picture of a snail so i bet it has snail on it yeah this one's got a picture of a girl i bet it has girls on it in it <laughs> probably made out not. of real human girls probably not that's illegal it's crazy 
I'm not sure I'm gonna do it yet. Yes, you are. Because it's for girls, not no, boys. You can do it too. Well, I don't then think so, man. Then I have but to Seth's a young boy. This. I'm a man. Can I can't do He's this. A man too. Men aren't supposed to do face masks. I know. Here you go, guys. <laughs> so I don't know, guys. What do you think? Should I do the face mask too? Oh yes. no, 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 no! The girls should put half and half. <laughs> Ooh, they could be like one color and one color. Yeah, like one color, one color. Or do you think that Seth and I should do it too? No way. Leave it down do in it. the comments below. They need to do it for family fun. You think so? Yes. I don't know. Yes, it's fun. Hmm. Leave it down in the comments, well, guys. Maybe. We'll follow your advice. Do it or don't do it. Make, Seth says no. They make men, men masks. They make men masks? Yeah. That's because they're trying to make men like women. Let's go look. Come on. Oh, yeah. That's they want to make men like women. All right, she's gonna show me the men masks. They probably have charcoal. I don't believe it. Charcoal, charcoal and knife blade shavings. Let's look. Maybe. They maybe just don't sell them here. Mm-hmm. Maybe because they don't make them. Yeah. You guys ever seen masks for men? I don't believe it. Look at how small the men's section is. It's like one little tiny aisle. One section of an them. aisle. No men masks. Just a whole lot of men perfume. Hans for men. All kinds of sissy Facial stuff. Scrubs. Facial scrubs. So I'm still not convinced, guys. Let me know down in the comments below. Do I need to do the face mask too? Seth Steele says no way. <laughs> we'll see, Seth. We'll see what they say. Guys, so if you want to check out Care For and Eat There, they got a wide variety of food. And uh, it tastes pretty good. So guys, we hope you have a great day. And keep smiling.